Okay, let's do a line art speed course. What we want to do is create something that is kind of like a black and white drawing. And so let's talk about that. First, delete this and I'll leave this the way it is. I'm going to my gaffer. I'm going to turn everything off. These are my lights. I'm just turning all my lights off. So I just don't want any lights on. And I'll go into my design magic collection and I'll go into the Arch 250. I'm going to grab Let's grab this Mac thing and let's add that insert and it pops right down and let's add another one on top of it. Let's put uh, this one on there. Remove the kit ops of that and then we'll add the insert to this and something like this and we'll scroll it up pretty big. Yeah, maybe something like that and move it back a little bit. So there we go. And then I'll basically set my camera to that and get my camera so that it looks just about right. Let's go, uh, here we go, move it around just a tiny bit, scale this up, and I'm gonna go to my world, and I've got a sky world that I'll be using for this. Now, one thing to be aware of is that this particular technique that I'm gonna show you depends on cycles. Now, you can also use line art with Eevee, but this will be focused on using cycles, and it's really gonna be the simplest, straightforward line art, you know, black and white lines, HBO, heavy black outline around the outside, thin lines on the inside, that's it. Now, there's a lot more you can do with line art, and I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but this is if you just wanna create a quick black and white cool sketch, this is how it works. So with this world sky, I'm gonna go into here and, and you'll see what this looks like. And let's go ahead and take, uh, that. that's probably pretty good. Let me, let me adjust the uh, strength of that to, something like that. There we go. And I'm going to hit F12. So one of the neat things about this particular effect is that you can use this effect. And because we're using a special feature of cycles, you don't have to reset your lighting or anything. It'll just work. So you can keep your rendering in cycles. You don't have to change materials, nothing. So that's kind of the cool part. So there's our image to see how cool that looks. So now, first thing I want to do is I want to change my frame start and frame end to one. I don't want line art trying to render a whole bunch of frames because it'll try and do that. So we don't want that. So that's the very first thing we do. The next thing that we want to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to name it line art. And let's go back in here, something like this, so we can see this. And that new collection, I'm going to say Shift A, and I'm going to say Cube. I'm going to add a cube, and I'm going to create a new material for that cube. And over here in the uh, materials, I'm going to just rename that material to Override. And Override means that it's just going to be the material that we're going to use for the rendering. And I'm going to just leave it with the default settings. Actually, I might just change the roughness up to the max and the specular down to the min, and that's really it. So we'll just leave it like that. So, so with that said, I'm going to just turn these off like this. And then I'll go down to the fourth tab right here, the View Layer Properties tab. I'll scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's this Override button. This will only show up if you have this set to Cycles. If it's an Eevee, you won't see this. So just keep that in mind. Go down to the fourth one, and we'll choose that, that Override material right here. And now when I hit F12, you're going to see that everything is white. And that's what the override material does. It overrides every other material in the scene so that it's white. I'm gonna escape out of that. We don't need to see any more of that. Okay, with that being done, I'm gonna go Shift A in here, and I'm gonna say Grease Pencil, and I wanna say a scene line art. And I'm in this line art, and I'm gonna call this line art HBO. Now, what does HBO stand for? Heavy black outline. That means the outline that goes around it. Now, the first thing, very first thing I want to do is I want to turn the modifier off on this thing because it's going to take forever to do stuff. So we turn that off. We'll go into the contour and we're just basically going to turn everything off, leave the contour alone. And under style thickness, I'm going to make it four. And then we're going to go into the object properties and under vis viewport display, we want in front. We want these lines to draw in front of everything else. And then in here, which is, this is the uh, object data properties. I want to go all the way down and under strokes, I want to change the stroke thickness instead of world space to screen space. If you're doing a interior rendering, you might want to use world space. Or world space means that the lines will get thinner as you go farther back. And screen space means that they're just going to all be the same size. And because we have an, an object that's fairly close to us, we, I want them to be all the same size. Okay, now with that done, I'm going to take this line art up here, and I'm going to control C, control V. I'm going to duplicate it, and then this one I'm going to rename, and I'm going to call it thin. And there's thin. So we got heavy back outline, and we got thin. And in thin, we're going to go into the modifiers, and we're going to change the thickness to two. And while we're in here, we want to turn off contour. We want to turn on crease and intersections. 
after we've set this to two. And then we can hit F12, and really that's all there is to it. See how nice that is? Now I can adjust the, the, the line thicknesses if I want to. There's all different kinds of things I can do. But I just want to show you this. This is, this is how this works. Uh, and it looks, you know, it looks re reasonably good. I mean, it's a pretty fast, simple way to get something done. You can do some other things like if you want to uh, go into your compositing setting. And you can, uh, let's just delete all these. And let's just go over here to the viewer. And we'll do RGB curves. So we'll go image to the here and then we can go here we'll just drag this to this image and this to this image i hold the shift key down with the right mouse button drag through these and they'll stitch these into one so now with this as you can see i can drag this down and oops i gotta turn on i need to turn on use nodes and then i can drag this down and i want to get something a little darker if you know down in here if i want something like that oh that's too dark there, and then I can say Shift A, and we'll do another color, and we'll do hue saturation value, drop it in here, turn saturation all the way off, so that makes sure I only have gray, and then take value down to 0.01 or something like that, something dark, maybe, maybe, maybe hold the shift key down, just maybe a little higher, just something like this, so we can get kind of some dark, some dark shadows like that, and then if I hit F12 again, it'll come back and give me this, so. Hey, I'll show you something else that's kind of cool about this. Escape this, and let's go back to my layout. You know, I can come in here and X. I can come in here and delete this and add something else here if I want. Let's put this light on here, like it's some kind of projector or something. So we'll click here and add the insert there. Scroll it up like this there. And we'll move it like maybe over here like this and mirror it on the X. So we have two, two of those. And then we just hit F12 again. And of course, it's all going to work exactly as we sob previously so so what makes this particular technique so cool is that it's really easy to go back to our regular rendering right so let's show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna just come back here I'll, I'll take this line art and I'm gonna just toggle these off right and with those turned off I'll go into the one two three fourth one down and this over this manual override I'm gonna just turn that off and I'll hit F12. And this is what we get, but that's because of the compositing. I just need to go in here and say, just view the layer. And this is our image. So what I'm talking about is just the whole idea that you can actually go in here and keep your existing lighting and your existing materials. And at the same time, you can render out a really quick, kind of a black and white sketch style wireframe. So hope this helps. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you online.